Okay, welcome back, dear friends. I am Dr. Kalim Raza. Today we are going to discuss about the blood spur of the breast tissue. Breast cancer is the most common cancer in the females. So anything relating to the breast tissue, whether this is the blood supply, or the lymphatic drainage, or the nerve supply of the breast tissue, this is very important. Not just for your exam point of view, but you must be able to understand that what are the risk factors which ultimately lead to the carcinoma of the breast. How you are going to prevent breast cancer? How you are going to basically educate your community and going to spread awareness in order to reduce the breast cancer? So today we are going to discuss the blood supply of the breast tissue and we will discuss also that what is the lymphatic drainage of the breast tissue. You may have one or two stations in your clinical assessment exam where you must be able to examine the lymphatic drainage of the breast tissue. You must be able to examine the axillary lymph nodes, anterior axillary lymph nodes and the posterior axillary lymph nodes. First we will discuss the arteries we supply blood to your breast tissue. I will draw, you will make notes and then you will come back to discuss this image also. So let's draw please. Blood supply of the breast tissue. Blood supply of the breast tissue. Blood supply of the breast, very important topic. Most common cancer in the female and remember most common cancer in the male is the prostate cancer. But the death both in male and female, unfortunately it is due to the lung cancer. So we have to educate our community to reduce the risk factor of these highly non-communicable life taking diseases. Blood supply of the breast. There are two major arteries. Let me draw. There are two major arteries which supply blood to your breast tissue. In this axillary region, this is your axillary artery. And remember, axillary artery is a continuation of the subclavian artery. Subclavian artery is a branch of, right subclavian artery is a branch of the costo cervical trunk, left subclavian artery is directly coming from the arch of aorta. From outer border of the first rib, subclavian artery continues as axillary artery. And the axillary artery is going to supply blood to the lateral and outer quadrant of the breast and what are the arteries what are the arteries which go which are going to supply uh, blood to your breast tissue from lateral and outer quadrant so here you have thoracoacromial and lateral thoracic artery what are the branches of the axillary artery which supply blood to the breast tissue in the lateral and outer quadrant of the breast? These are the thoracoacromial and lateral thoracic artery. So write please. Thoracoacromial artery and then lateral thoracic artery. On the medial side, on the medial side, here you have internal thoracic artery. In last lecture, when we have discussed the blood supply of the chest wall, I have explained the branches of the internal thoracic artery and we have discussed in detail that how this 
internal thoracic artery is basically descending behind the costal cartilage and where it is going to terminate. Internal thoracic artery will supply blood to the breast through the perforating arteries through the perforating arteries perforating arteries so it's clear now that lateral and outer side blood supply is coming from the axillary artery branches of thoracoacromial and lateral thoracic artery but medial side blood supply is coming from the perforating artery and perforating arteries are branches of the internal thoracic artery but this anterior part of the breast anterior part of the breast receiving blood supply from anterior intercostal arteries and these anterior intercostal arteries are also branches of the internal thoracic artery so it's clear now that these two arteries axillary artery and internal thoracic artery they are supplying blood through the breast tissue through these branches now let's discuss please lymphatic drainage lymphatic drainage of the breast tissue these are the anterior axillary lymph nodes so anterior axillary lymph nodes anterior axillary lymph nodes anterior axillary lymph nodes anterior axillary lymph node will drain outer and lateral quadrant of the breast and medial side of the breast lymph is carried by internal mammillary or internal thoracic lymph nodes which are present just within the internal thoracic artery so these are internal thoracic lymph node so medial side of the breast inner side of the breast lymphatic drainage is carried by internal thoracic lymph node and lateral and outer quadrant of the breast lymph is draining into the anterior axillary lymph node now let's move back to that image okay so let's make our concepts more crystal clear please here you can see this is axillary artery this is axillary artery axillary artery and axillary artery i have told you supplying blood through lateral thoracic artery and thoraco acromial artery this lateral and outer side on the medial side blood supply is coming from the internal thoracic artery internal thoracic artery and branches of the perforating arteries and the anterior side through the anterior intercostal spaces so i hope you understood the blood supply and the lymphatic drainage of the breast tissue till next video lecture stay with chenar medicos thank you very much thank you for your concentration